Fairfield Sassoon Sewer District collects and treats all the wastewater from the communities of Fairfield and Sassoon City. That includes Travis Air Force Base as well as a large uh, brewery that we have here. So anytime uh, any business is producing wastewater or homes, also all gets collected and brought here to this treatment facility. As the Assistant General Manager, I oversee all the day-to-day -day operations and maintenance of the facility, uh, as well as all the information technology. We had reliability issues with our systems, um, both from the actual physical technology, as well as from the um, uh, consultants that we had. We would have servers fail for no apparent reason, and as you may imagine, people don't appreciate it if their wastewater system doesn't work, and we were heavily dependent on the technology both to operate the systems as well as uh, recording all of the information to show that we're in compliance with all the regulations. My name is uh, Peter Prieto. I'm the CEO of Invagistar. I'm based in Sassoon City, California. The, the challenge with most managed service IT T companies, at least legacy managed service IT companies, is they kind of have a, we call it break-fix mode. When something breaks, they fix it. After a couple server failures after a couple uh, long nights. We figured that we had to really look at some of the legacy hardware, legacy servers, and after kind of going through both environments that they had, we made a decision that we were gonna basically upgrade everything with NEC hardware, primarily because of the reliability. We are heavily regulated by both state and federal agencies, um, and all of those permits that we have require us to record uh, data, whether that's flow data or other information. Any Server downtime or things like that are always looked at a little bit as suspect. Um, so having servers that we, we know aren't going to be down is very important from a regulatory compliance standpoint. We had a specific requirement that had very specific needs. We plugged in the box, it worked, and the rest has really been history. With the NEC products, the quality and reliability is, is, is phenomenal. With this plant, it, it can't go down. I mean, it has to remain active 24-7, uh, 365 days a year. One of the things that we had was a high CPU utilization on our virtual instances prior to us installing the NEC hardware, but we've seen a dramatic decrease in uh, CPU utilization once we implemented the hardware. The facility is, is always open, there's always operators on duty. Um, you know, so having that hardware in place, it's, um, I mean, it's been rock solid. We take more of a virtual, proactive, what we call virtual CIO approach. And the whole idea is keeping that company ahead of the technology curve and in the long term saving them money, saving them pain, and making sure everybody stays productive within their environment. Prior vendors that we worked with, um, some of the more common names you might hear, uh, it's, it's very impersonal feeling. With NEC, I, I know who I can call. I've got a name, I've got a cell phone number that I can call. Uh, if I have any problems. It's, it's like an all-inclusive total package feeling with the NEC products. And to me, that's probably the most critical part of the business. I mean, there's no magic to what we do. We don't make the product, uh, but we have to support it and we have to trust it and our customers have to want to buy it from us. So the fact that that relationship over that past decade we've been with NEC has, has, has been basically, in my mind, flawless. Um, it's enabled us to really do what we do now and provide services like we do now to FSSD where the end result is they're a very happy customer with product that they can trust, they can rely on, and it works. The fact that we do our job well and do it right every day is very important. So wondering whether the server is going to crash at the wrong time, um, I know I, I don't have to worry about those things anymore and that's really ultimately what all of us are looking for, um, whether that's at another treatment plant or a business. Um, having not having that downtime and, and, and which obviously directly relates into cost uh, is very important to all of us.